This is a lesson on volume, and specifically finding volume of a geometric solid, and we're going to be doing that by multiplying uh, the length of the solid times the height times the width of that solid. And so we're going to be multiplying three things together, one times the other and then times the other. And I'm saying length, height, and width, but uh, in the book or in other books or in other classrooms or from other teachers, you might hear things like base, and you might hear depth um, instead of length and width. So um, just know that whatever way they refer to the measurement of the sides, length or width or depth or base, um, you're, you're going to be multiplying three of those together, and you have to be able to identify those uh, so you won't be um, confused. All right, here's our what do you need to know, right? So uh, we got... Um, number one, you have to know some properties of geometric solids. You know that there's three dimensions here. There's a, one dimension that measures this measurement. There's one that measures these measurements going deep into it or depth or width. And then there's a third measurement that goes high. Right? So there's side to side, front to back, and up and down. And those are the three measurements of geometric solids. Um, and the other thing you're going to need to know is to be able to multiply whole numbers and numbers with decimals. And, you know, we practiced that being super organized and uh, getting everything in the right spot. Uh, this is the time to bring it all together. All right, let's take a look at volume, right? So volume measures the amount of cubes that can fit into a solid. So here's a solid, and this solid can be broken up into several cubes, and that's what volume is measuring, how many cubes are in there, right? So there's the same solid, but now there's, it's represented in cubes. So on the top row, you have 4, 8, 12, 16, and then in the second row, you'd probably have 16, even though you can't see them, and then the third row, 16, and the fourth row, 16. Uh, and so 4 times 16, that's 64. Now, that's um, probably right. So let's just check it, right? So if we multiply how many cubes go side to side, how many cubes go front to back, and how many cubes go up and down, 4 times 4 times 4, we should get 64. So the first thing we do is multiply 4, well, 4 times 4 times 4. You multiply the first part first and get 16, and then you get 16 times 4 equals 64. So there's 64 cubes measured inside of that geometric, uh, geometric solid. So that's what we're doing. We're trying to find out how many cubes, and we have to measure three things and multiply them all together in order to do that. All right, so how is volume measured? All right, volume's down here, but let's take a look at the perimeter first. Perimeter measures length, just one dimension. You know, the dimension might go in a square, but it's still just measuring how far is that line uh, going. Now, in area, it measures two dimensions. It me uh, measures the length times the height. All right, so that's why when we label it, you know, you put a little squared on there. And then volume measures three dimensions, length, width, and height. height. Uh, and so that's why you have a three there. Three dimensions gets a little three, and the three represents cubed. All right, let's take a look at our notes. Uh, there's only one. How do I find volume? All right, here we are finding volume. You know, we're going to find the volume of this particular rectangular prism here. All right, and so there's three dimensions that we need. We need... Let me get a um, highlighter here. We need to have the length, how long it is, times another color, times the width, and then we're going to multiply that times the height. So all three of them have to be multiplied together. So let's start with, uh, well, let's just say it, or write it out for 6 times 3 times 4, and then you do the first part first. 6 times 3 is 18. Uh, I said the first part first, but, you know, in multiplication you can multiply in, in, in any order, right? So we've multiplied 18, and then 18 times 4, and if you can't do that in your head, it's on the paper. Uh, 4 times 8 is 32. 4 times 1 is 4 plus 3 is 72. So that's 72, but 72 what's? 
there are 72 centimeters. But again, we're measuring cubes. So how many little centimeter cubes can fit in there? There are 72 of those cubes. Can, again, I'm not going to draw all 72. But there are 72 cubes that we can lay. If that was an open container, we'd lay 72 one centimeter cubes in there. And so that's why we say it's 72 centimeters, but it's cubic centimeters. So we put the little three on there. Uh, the other way to write that would be, let's squeeze it in here, 72 cubic centimeters. All right, so that's the example. And, uh, you know, today it's just going to be more of the same, multiplying, multiplying, multiplying. All right, so here we have, number one, a geometric solid. That's a rectangular prism. And we're going to multiply the base times the uh, height times the depth, or the length times the width times the height. However you say it, it's still just one side times the other times how tall it is. Uh, so it's 2 times 2 times 4, and this is a mental math thing, right? This is like a third grade math problem now. Uh, 2 times 2 is 4 times 4 equals 16, right? And that's 16 millimeters, and it's millimeters cubed because it's three dimensions. Remember, all those little cubes form three-dimensional um, objects, length times width times height. All right, so that's uh, number one. Number two, now this is going to be a little bit more involved because it's 3 times 3 times 3 times 3, or 3 times 1 times 3 times 1. Uh, and so you're going to have to do two problems when you have something like this where you can't do it in your head mentally. So we're going to multiply the length times the width times the height. All right, so it's 3.1 times 3.1 first, right? And then I'll take that and multiply that by 3.1. All right, so 1 times 1 is 1, 1 times 3 is 3. Uh, put a placeholder, 3 times 1 is 3, 3 times 3 is 9, and then you add them all together, you get 1, 6, and 9. And where, the, where does the decimal go? It goes in one, two spaces. So there's two uh, decimal spaces in the uh, each, or in the factors, then there's two in the product, 9.61. Now, we're only halfway finished with that, though, all right? So we multiply that measure times that measure, but now we need to measure or multiply it by that. So now I need to do the other part of the problem, 9.61 times 3.1. All right, 1 times 1 is 1, 1 times 6 is 6, 1 times 9 is 9. Cross it out, placeholder, 3 times 1 is 3, 3 times 6 is 18, and 3 times 9 is 27 plus 1 equals 28. Uh, all right, now I'm out of room squeeze it in. All right, you get 0 plus 1 is 0, and then 9, and that's 17, and 9, and 2. Now, where does the decimal go? 1, 2 spaces in there, and 3 spaces in the factor. So it goes 1, 2, 3 spaces in, and 29.791 is the answer there. All right, so multiply, 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 and sometimes you have to do it in two steps. All right, what about this one? This one does not show you the picture of it, but it gives you three dimensions, right? It gives you the length times the width times the height. It might give you base times depth times height or base times width times height. So there's some interchangeable vocabulary there, but really what we're looking at is how many dimensions are there? We're gonna, we need three to do volume. If we have three, we're going to multiply them all together. All right, so it's uh, six times four times Two. And again, you can do these in any order. So I'm going to do 4 times 2 first and get 8. And then I'll multiply it by the 6. And now it's all mental math, right? 6 times 8 equals 48. Now it's 48 what's? It doesn't tell you, right? So if it's inches, it's 48 inches cubed. Uh, but this one will just be 48 units cubed because we don't know the size of the unit. All right, so let's say that this next one is centimeters. All right, 10 centimeters times 10 centimeters times 10 centimeters. All right, that is 10 times 10 times 10. And when it's a mental math situation, I can just lay it out like this. So I know 10 times 10, that's 100. And then 100 times 10, I know that too, because any time I multiply something by 10, I just add a zero onto it, right? Unless it's a decimal number, you can't do that. Uh, so here's my... 100 times 10 equals 1,000. 1, 2, 3 zeros, 1,000. 
and it's centimeters cubed. So what's the basis of the lesson? It is if you are finding volume, you need to have cubes. Cubes have three dimensions, therefore you need three measures to measure it, base times height times depth, or length times width times height. Uh, they're all, you know, uh, interchangeable sometimes, but uh, you're doing, if you have three dimensions or three numbers, you multiply them all together. All right, here's our to-do. We're working out of the homework book, H11-9, and you're going to do 1 through 8, then you're going to skip 9, 10, and 11, and then do 12 and 13. And remember, volume is always measured in cubes, so re, um, remember to label your answers appropriately, and your answers will have a little 3 at the end. All right, good luck, everybody.